So welcome back to IGCC ICT paper for October November 2023. We'll be carrying on paper two for the last task, which is about presentation. We've already done this previous ones in the previous videos, so we're going to go right now to the presentation. So for the presentation, we're going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Create a presentation of five slides using this slide. Unless otherwise instructed, use the slide must display Titan and bullet it. Uh, uninstructed, the slides must, okay, that's an important point. Uh, most of them should be displaying the title and bulleted list. Let's go and import it. Okay, I'm just going to open PowerPoint here. And then I'm going to open that specific file they instructed us to open it. The file is guide RTF. So you are going to see that there is nothing appearing. So make sure that you're selecting this option, which is make sure all the extensions are visible. And then go and choose that card, guide R, uh, RTF file and open it in your PowerPoint. <clears throat> As you can see, it got opened into PowerPoint. Um, okay. So all of them supposed to be, as you can see, all of them with a title and bulleted point. As I mentioned here, as it was mentioned here, place in the header your name, center number, and candidate number, and that's supposed to be right aligned in the header. For this, we need to go to the view and click on Slide Master and go to the very first one. Always remember to go to the very first slide. And then over here, let's go to insert and click on header and footer. And here, let's stick the footer and we're going to put our name, sender number, and candidate number. You will see that this black area got highlighted or this area had become in black shadow. And that's because I took this footer. Other things are not going to appear because they are not activated. So let's apply to all. <coughs> all right, this is the one that got applied. We need to move into the up, top, part. I just don't want any overlapping here. So I'm just going to remove this a bit up. Okay, that's better. Maybe we can keep it to the same alignment and we can make this a little bit to the right side. Okay, just to make sure that it is more to the right. <coughs> so they say to the right alignment in the header and make sure the header appears in the same position on every slide. It is, so let's make sure of that. Let's close the slide master and let's check it right now. Can you see it's appearing on the same location on every slide? 25 change the layout of the slide with the title H rating system to the title <coughs> to a title and table. Okay, first find with okay, it's this one H rating system. This is the title of this slide. We need to change it to a title and table. So right click on it, layout, and click on title and table. I cannot see here any title and table. So what we can do. <coughs> title and content and then we can make it into a table like this but I'm not sure how many tables so I'm just going to leave it for a while like this and later I will add the table all right here they're instructing us right now okay I should read it first uh, just create a title that contains three columns and six rows and format the table so that a plain table style is applied with no cell shading and all internal external grid lines are displayed when printed. So three columns and six rows. <coughs> a plane, so it's supposed to be just a plane with no shading. I'm just going to make it a plane one. Okay. Internal external grid lines are displayed as you can see here. Copy the data from this rating CSV file into this table. So let's go uh, rating file. So this is the rating file. 
Okay, so I have here one, two, three, three columns, and one, two, three, here six, six rows. All right, matching with it. So let's copy it. Let's just put it here. As you can see, it's <coughs> copied directly. Edge categories is empty here, so you can see empty. So it's the rest in rating and description. <coughs> Adjust the column width so that the data in column three wraps over no more than three lines. So okay, so here it's supposed to be no more than three lines. Anyway, I made it already no more than three lines because we adjusted the columns. Format the table so that the height of all six rows is set to two centimeters. Format the table so that the height of all six rows. So in order to make the, <coughs> the height is uh, two centimeters, you can just highlight it over here and go to the layout. And you can see here in the height, there is a the height. Go and go to the table size. This is the table size. This is the cell size. So put for each row, you have you want to use to 2 cm and it will make it into 2 cm and um, still that makes sure that the data in the column <coughs> 3 still wraps over no more than 3 lines that's ok so format the table so that the first column of the table is has a solid black background with a white text and column 1, 2, 3 looks like this ok <coughs> We need to merge this. Oh, not so cell merging. It is. I need cell merging. So right here is the cell merge, and I need to change the direction. It's supposed to be in this way, and it needs to be in the center. <coughs> okay, no specific. Size, so I'm just going to increase the size and then let's make it with the black background. And a white shading. The rating supposed to be center aligned and description also center <coughs> but anyway it shouldn't be more than three let me just give it a bit of space okay That's great. And then on the slide that is with the title content descriptors, this one, <coughs> select the seven bulleted items. Okay, bad language too. All right, this one till suggestive themes. Suggestive themes, all right, from here till here. And format them to look like this so there will be sub. Okay, I got it. So select them and then go to home and click on increase this level. And it needs to be showing with this uh, bulleted uh, symbol. So I'm just going to click if it's not available here. If it's available, just select it. Not available, just go here and click on the customize. <coughs> and you need to try to look for it from any of those symbols. Okay, you can see there is a space after this, so I'm just going to try to put a bit of space. Okay, and it needs to be a little bit more to in, so I'm just going to highlight all of them and push it a little bit in like this. <coughs> That's better. On the slide with the title Online Gaming Safety, 
format the text age rating the text age rating online gaming safety format the text age rating in the last bullet point all right also. okay age rating on the last bullet point so that when click it goes to the slide uh, with the age rating I see so it should be with the link so when we click on it it goes to this age rating system okay. <clears throat> right click and then we can just do hyperlink and we can mention that it needs to be inside this document and it needs to go to age rating age rating and that's supposed to be the previous previous slide this one and click on OK so what will happen here when you click use control right now it will open that <coughs> slide take a screenshot evidence to show that the text links to the correct slide place this to your evidence document we need to show it with the okay so right click back again to it edit the link and you may show it like this and that's going to be 30 step 30 and that's our last evidence so after that take a screenshot done save the presentation Print the slides 2, 3, 4, and 5 only as a handout in portrait orientation. <coughs> okay, with two slides to the page, and it's supposed to be two slides to the page, each side filling half of the page. So let's go here, back, save it. Okay, this is done. Let's save it, make sure that it is saved in our work area. I'm just going to give it to the same name. <coughs> okay. And let's print it out. Let's go to the printout right now. <coughs> and let's check. They want only two, three, and four, and five, two to five as a handle. So I'm going to select from here. What I did is just I chose two slides as a handout. This is a handout section. It's supposed to be like in the portrait. So I selected two. And it needs to be just pages two, <coughs> two to five. So I put two up to five. So it's going to be two, three, four, and five, as you can see. And then you need to print it. I'll select your printer and print it out. If not yet, you don't have the printer, you can just also always do this option. Save it as a PDF. <coughs> and name it as your print. Oh, this is going to be printout 4. And you will be able to see that it is going to be exactly in the same way. With the handout 2 per page. Alright, that's the all. And uh, for the final part, which is part five, printing the evidence document. So just make sure your name, document, everything is showing. And make sure that your header is under the screenshot. They are not separated or on other pages. <coughs> and then that's it. You need just to go and print it out. And you can just directly print it out or just also I prefer to save it as a PDF. And then print it out. So let me save this final one. So that's the final one. And then you can print it out. So that's the end of paper two. If you have any questions, you may comment in the comment section and see you in paper three.